my channel and welcome to what my nine month old eats in a day. You're almost nine months old, huh? You guys loved my what my six month old eats in a day, so I thought I would do a new updated episode since Rowan's eating more complicated foods now. He's eating three meals a day instead of two. Uh, so we're gonna take you along for everything you eat today. No, not eat right now. And you'll eat your hand. Rowan already had his first nursing session of the day around 7.30, and now it's about 8.15, and we always aim for breakfast about an hour after the first nursing session. So I'm gonna start making your breakfast. He's gonna have a uh, mushroom and garlic omelet this morning. So I always like to make his omelet with three eggs so that we have leftovers, and I don't have to prep this like multiple mornings a week. I'm just gonna crack these into a bowl, and I'm adding a little bit of minced garlic for flavor for him. And just whisking all of this up, making sure I'm breaking the yolks. Those are some really dark yolks. <laughs> and next I'm gonna mince up my mushrooms. These are just mini Bella mushrooms. And I'm just spraying my pan, turning it on low to medium heat. I'm gonna pour my egg mixture in here and shimmy the pan around to make sure that it's coating the whole bottom, like a circle. When it's starting to firm up a little bit, it's still definitely a little bit wet. I like to put the mushrooms in so they actually stick in the egg. And then when I can lift up the edge, I flip it over. And voila, you have your omelet. So grabbing him a little cup of water in his easy peasy tiny cup. And obviously this isn't the proper size and shape for him to eat yet. So once it's cooled down to where it's about lukewarm, definitely still wanna give it to him warm, but not so hot that it'll burn him. I cut it into strips that are about the size of my finger using one of my kitchen shears. You could totally just use a knife for this too but I find that this is the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna store some of these pieces away for the next few days and just give him as much as he usually eats. I typically do about a third at a time, so this makes three servings. It's breakfast time! <laughs> what do you guys think? There we go. Yeah, I know, you just wanna get straight to the food, huh? Safety first. Mm. Buddy, you're getting big. We need to loosen this strap, I think. I need your big, buddy. Uh. Rowan, it's eggs. Here you go. Mmm. <laughs> yes, please. I would wear it. This smells so good that I'm actually gonna eat the leftovers myself <laughs> instead of saving them. Sorry, buddy. It's always good to eat with your kid. That's something our pediatrician recommended. Do you give coffee to Rowan? Oh, to mommy. All right, this is my coffee. <laughs> hey. What do you want in your coffee? Cream, honey, and cinnamon. Are you kidding me? No. And now it's time for a video on what mommy drinks for a day. It's definitely pretty messy, huh, Bubba? <laughs> yeah. That's why we love our gather mat. <laughs> Buddy, did you like your eggs? <laughs> yeah, is that delicious? Okay, so I'm feeding Mr. Bean again now before his nap. Normally it's about three hours in between nursing sessions, but he was really sad, so we're comfort nursing at just over two hours, and he's gonna go down for a nap. To answer a few questions that I got um, on the last video, he typically nurses for less than 10 minutes. He's really quick at it. He's a little bit fussy right now because I think he's teething, and I'm nursing him about five times a day still, so every three hours it's typically like seven, 10, one, four, seven. It's baby lunch times! Yeah! Uh, lunch is something that we're just now introducing to him. He's about eight and a half months old right now, and our pediatrician said that by the time he was nine months, he should be having three meals a day. So, we're doing lunch today. Um, I'm gonna make him banana and peanut butter toast. 
but I need to put you down while I prep it. So I think I'm gonna bribe you with some puffs. Yeah, <laughs> you want some puffs? Okay. This will keep you busy while mommy makes your food. Good job. Okay, so to prep his banana, I obviously <laughs> peel it because duh. Whoop, it broke, that's okay. We cut it into three sections, so kind of like that. And then I only give him a third because he's also having toast. So I'm just gonna cut this in half lengthwise and then cut each of the halves in half lengthwise. Hopefully that makes sense. And we're left with these longer, thinner pieces. Put the rest of the banana away for later. And then I lightly toasted this bread just by broiling it in my oven and I'm gonna put just a little bit of peanut butter. I'm definitely not making like a peanut butter sandwich here. Just enough for him to get the flavor. This is a high risk food, um, so be careful if you're giving your kiddo peanut butter, but we know Rowan's not allergic because he's had it many times before. He's over here going, mmm, every time he eats a puff. <laughs> oh. And then again, just using my trusty kitchen shears. I don't know how I would live without these if you don't have a pair. I highly recommend getting some because they're so great for baby lid weaning. Um, I'm cutting off the crust just because the like harder crust makes me a little nervous. I probably don't have to do that, but I do it anyway. And then I'm cutting it into kind of the same size strips as the banana, really. Just like that. And I'll start by giving him like three strips of toast and all the banana, and then I'll give him more toast if he's still hungry. Also, of course, got his little cup of water. Since we're wearing our outfit for the day now, and not just our pajamas that I'm gonna put in the laundry, I'm gonna put one of these cake bibs on him. Um, these are from Lywood. I got a lot of questions about these last time, and it is like a Scandinavian brand, and it's super expensive to ship over to the States. It's definitely very extra that I got them, but I thought they were really cute. So I'll link them in case you're interested, but they are kind of pricey. <laughs> Buddy, it's really fighting me on it. Hang on, I'm about to give you your food, dude. Don't you want that? Aren't you so hungry? Love these placemats for the Ikea high chair from Ya yeah, Baby Goods. They make uh, cleanup so easy. Okay, Bubba, here you go. Toast, 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 banana. He doesn't smell like garlic anymore, but he's about to smell like peanut butter for the rest of the day. I prefer that over the garlic. Yeah, I think so too. He talk, it smells really good. I'm like kind of thinking about a peanut butter and banana sandwich for myself. That's the thing about baby led weaning is a lot of the time I end up just eating whatever he's eating because it's just easy to prepare it all at once. It's about 12.30 now. We're doing our third nursing session of the day. Started on the opposite side from the last time. Honestly, this nursing session was a little close to lunch. Um, it's only been like just over an hour since he had lunch, so we're still working out the timing of everything with the added meal. But you're still nursing like a champ, huh? It's like, mommy, who are you talking to? This is very distracting. Okay, so it's about four o'clock now and we're doing our fourth nursing session of the day. Um, we're actually at the new house doing some painting. So a little bit out of our normal routine, but you're still nursing like a champ. And then when we get home, we'll do dinner for him. So like his solids. Yeah. And then one more nursing session. All right, we are back home. It was a very long, arduous day of painting. So Rowan is getting leftovers for dinner. I made some spaghetti two nights ago um, and that's what he's gonna have. This is the pasta we use. It's chickpea pasta. <laughs> There's paint on my hand. Because legume pasta is more nutritious and also it's like really soft and easy for him to break apart. And then I use store-bought spaghetti sauce. I know a lot of people don't like to because there's a lot of sodium in it. Um, but who can be bothered to make a sauce from scratch? Um, so I'll give him this and just make sure there are no big chunks of meat in it. And I'll heat it up so it's not cold but definitely not hot enough to burn him. So I've got his little baby bowl here. This is about the portion that I give him. Um, we never force him to eat more than he wants 
too so whenever he decides he's done he's done but this is how much I offer him and we just let him go at it with his hands it's very messy so we actually uh, just let him be naked. and for this meal we're using this super cute uh, wheat straw sippy cup just so he gets practice with both I always make sure I sit with him when he eats too, obviously, in case of any kind of choking. Highly recommend uh, taking an infant CPR class if you have the opportunity. It's a lot of peace of mind. Daddy, he has no bib. Forgot that part. Daddy forgot the bib. <laughs> I think we're about to give you a bath. Rowan, you're so cute. Quite the mess, huh? Mommy and Daddy forgot to put a placemat down, so that's our fault. Daddy's fault. <laughs> I take full responsibility. Still trying to pick pieces out of his bib. Buddy! Rowan, should we get you all cleaned up? Let's get you all cleaned up. So Rome will have one more nursing session right before he goes to bed. It's typically a pretty short one because it is fairly close to dinner. Um, and that's it. That's everything my nine month old eats in a day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to keep doing these kinds of videos if you're enjoying them. Uh, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next video.